Are you kidding me? I'm Seth Rollins, bitch. I am the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I am the greatest champion of all time. I just beat John Cena at SummerSlam. I hit him in the face with my knee. And I beat him. And I'm the champion. And I'm better than you. And there's absolutely no way, no way, that a bunch of face-painted freaks are going to kick my ass. Well, he's wrong about one thing. It's not face paint. Whirling Nunchucku! <laughs> Sigh in the ass! Boast after the ball sack! Thwack! <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that we're uh, being a little hard on him, don't you think? All I know is, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of beating this guy's ass. Oh, really? Huh? Take that! Like, it's not even hard, man. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Dog pile! Dude, let me in! Fuck you! Ah, uh, Leonardo, you've returned. Yes, Master Splinter. We have fought our first battle, and we kicked... Uh, we fought well. Will you see? Well, um... Will you see? Uh, well, the guy whose ass we kicked kind of saw us. Really? He saw you? Well, yeah, it was kind of a four-on-one beatdown. Four-on-one? You call that an honorable battle? Well, uh, it was Seth Rollins. Seth, Seth, you mean that douchebag that beat up John Cena at SummerSlam? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfectly acceptable. Except, of course, he should not have seen you. Well, uh, we kind of wanted to make sure he got his ass kicked pretty good. Oh, that's good. But now, of course, now that you had your first battle, it is time for you to finally fulfill your true purpose. Our true purpose, Master? Yes. You think that I've just praised you for the last 13 years to quack ra- and quack why A's and beat up Seth Rollins? Well, kind of. No, not at all. I have a real mission for you. A mission that begins with a story long ago in Japan. Long ago, in Japan, lived a great shadow warrior named Hamato Yoshi. Yoshi was great at all things, but he had a rival, a rival that constantly tried to ride his dick. That man was named Oruku Saki, and no, these men competed over many things, none more fiercely than the love of a woman, Tang Shen. One day, Oruku Saki, like, sent her a dick pic, and she was like, Oh my god, that thing's like... Microscopic! Oh my god, like, Seth Rollins has a bigger dick than that! And Orukusaki took it really, really badly and tried to beat her and possibly even kill her. Fortunately, Hamato Yoshi was there to, like, totally kick his ass and embarrass him and make him look like a bitch. Unfortunately, in Japan, doing so is kind of, like, dishonorable and shit. So, Hamato Yoshi and Tang Shen had to run away to America for some bullshit reason. Anyway, Hamato Yoshi and Tang Shen totally, like, lived in happiness and stuff. Until one day, Oroku Saki and his very, very small penis made it all the way to New York, where he found Hamato Yoshi totally making love to Tang Shen, and then, like, kicking his ass, and beating him, and then killing him. Yes. Orokusaki killed Hamato Yoshi. I was there. I saw it. I was his pet rat. I tried to stop him, but he kicked me. I did not appreciate that. And so I wandered the streets alone, mourning my dead master and his dead wife. One day, a young man came by and saved an old man from being hit by a truck. But unfortunately, that cost him his sight. That canister that hit him in the face 
and probably gave him superpowers for all I know, fell into a storm drain, taking with it four baby turtles. That would be you. I also came in contact with you and began to like talk and stuff. You grew and matured much faster than anything I had ever seen. And thus, I found a way to avenge my dead master by training you to, like, totally kill Orokosaki. So, like, wait, y you mean you spent 13 years teaching us all this, like, ninja shit so we can go, like, kill a guy? Yes, Raphael. I spent all this time for one purpose. You've had one purpose this entire time, Raphael. Don't you think that's kind of bullshit? No, it's not bullshit. It's your job. It's why you're here. You are here to kill the Shrek. That's it. That's all it was. You're not here to have cell toys or anything like that. Just kill the Shredder. All right. I guess we'll go kill the Shredder. Hey, Leo, you think this is like a good idea, you know, going to kill the Shredder? Well, it's what Master Splinter wants. Well, yeah, but don't you think that kind of makes us the bad guys? Well, eh, we're only going to last for one issue, so it's not like it's going to matter. I don't know, we might have like the potential to be like this big marketing thing for like kids and shit? <laughs> yeah, kids are really gonna buy violent Ninja Turtles. Oh no, I'd buy it. Shut up, Raph. Nobody cares what you think. So anyway, this is pretty much the place. Oh, I don't know, it looks kind of dark. What do you mean it looks kind of dark? Well, I'm kind of looking for a place for me and my girlfriend. And like, I don't know, this kind of looks like a little, um... Well, it kind of looks like somebody just put up a black curtain on their fucking couch or something and decided to put action figures in front of it. And besides, you kind of look like a supervillain. What are you talking about? I am not a supervillain! I am the Shredder! The greatest real estate agent in the history of real estate! Uh, you still kind of look like a supervillain to me. SHUT UP! I mean, I mean, well, uh, well, I'm not. So, do you want to buy the place or not? Uh... The hell is that? It kind of looks like there's a big old sign saying, Shredder, you killed Hamato Yoshi. Now we must kill you. Signed, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the fuck are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't even know what the fuck those are. I, and, and, and my name isn't even Shredder. It's a, it's a Rukusaki. Um, a Rukusaki, a.k.a. the Shredder. Yeah, that, they're pretty much talking about you, dude. Uh, well, um, I did not kill anybody. I, I, I've never killed anyone. I, I'm just a humble real estate servant. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm buying the place, dude. In fact, uh, lose my phone number. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Oh, well. If that's how you want to play it, Ninja Turtles. I don't know how you know Hamato Yoshi, or how you know anything about me. But I am going to make sure that you pay for ruining this possible real estate deal. For I am the Shredder, the greatest real estate agent in all of New York. All right, Shredder, show yourself. I am here, the Shredder, the greatest real estate agent. Shut the fuck up, dude. We are here to, like, totally kill you and shit. All right, unless, of course, you take this sword in my hand right now and commit, like, ritual suicide. What the fuck would I commit ritual suicide? Why do you keep going over there and talking to, I don't know, whatever that is? That's where the audience is. Audience? There's an audience that... Dude, we're on the roof of a fucking building, and I'm gonna, like, totally kill you until, like, you know, you decide to kill yourself. Well, that's never going to happen, so die! 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 Die, Ninja Turtle! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! I have easily defeated you! Well, you're not... Oh, yeah! I'm Raphael, and I'm gonna, like, uh, totally stab you! Ah! I'm the Shredder, and I'm going to shred you! Yes! That's two. Come on! I know there's more of you out there. <laughs> Cowabunga! Dude, really? You're just gonna shout a couch phrase and jump at me? <laughs> Come on! Bring it on! 
You with the stick. All right, Shredder. You have a choice. You can try and commit suicide and get honor in the next life, or I can kick your ass. You're gonna kick my ass. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to kick my ass then. All right. Hey, pile driver! Yes, <laughs> yes. I have pile driven the Ninja Turtles. I have spanked them and I have beaten them. And now there's absolutely no way that they can make me commit suicide for no good reason. Because I didn't kill Hamato Yoshi. Hamato Yoshi killed Hamato Yoshi. Wait, what? What? You're gonna pull that Vince McMahon, like, fucking Brett Screw Brett bullshit? Yes. Hamato Yoshi killed Hamato Yoshi. And fuck you. Ah! Oh! Oh! Like, ah! Fwa! 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 Oh, my balls! Yeah, see, that's what you get for, like, uh, telling people that they kill themselves, man. That's, like, fucked up and shit. Shredder, you have been defeated in battle. You have one choice now. You can either commit ritualistic suicide and try to find honor in the next life, or I can murder you. Uh, okay, all right, hold, hold on here. Hold up, uh, all right. Let's stop the movie here for a second. Okay, Leonardo. I believe that is your name, right? Yes, I am Leonardo. I am the Ninja Turtle, and I am the leader of the Ninja Turtles. Shut up, okay? All you had to do was say, yes, I am Leonardo. All right. Now, say you kill me. All right? Now, why are you killing me? Because you killed our master, Hamato Yoshi. I thought your master was a rat. Uh, well, he... Uh, the rat was... Um, Hamato Yoshi was his master... And he's our master, so therefore, Hamato Yoshi is also our master! Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Forget the logical thing. Alright, if you kill me, what makes you better than me killing Hamato Yoshi? Uh, we're the good guys? <sighs> See, this is the kind of stupidity that I am dealing with here. Leonardo, if you kill me for the same reasons that I allegedly, and that, remember, allegedly, killed Hamato Yoshi, you too would be guilty of murder, and therefore, under your own logic, would have to commit ritualistic suicide in order to find honor in the next life. But I, I'm doing it in order to restore the honor of Hamato Yoshi. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Here's what's going to happen, okay? You're going to kill me, and then, like, somebody from the foot gun is going to, like, come and try to kill you, and then, then, like, it's just going to be this perpetual circle of violence, okay? So what you do is you kick my ass, you win, you cost me a real estate sale, which kind of pisses me off, but you know what? I'm willing to let that go. And we both go our separate ways, and nobody has to die, and no gang war happens in New York, and no Foot Clan members come for revenge once you kill me, and this doesn't turn into a bullshit cycle of revenge over and over and over again until somebody decides that, hey, maybe we should just try peace. So, Leonardo, you're a smart man. Perhaps I am not a man, I am a ninja turtle! Oh, okay, all right, right, right. Leonardo, for the love of God, just listen to me, okay? If you kill me, then you're no better than me. Okay, so uh, just kill yourself then. <laughs> but that would imply that I actually did something wrong, which I did not, because I only allegedly killed Hamato Yoshi. Um, dude, we saw the montage, okay? The, the flashback montage. There's no alleged. You killed Hamato Yoshi. You can't prove that. You cannot prove that in a court of law. A flashback is not admissible evidence. You have no evidence. You have no proof. All you know is that I'm a real estate agent. A real estate agent that just happens to dress like a supervillain. Yeah, what is up with that anyway? And where are the rest of the ninja? Yeah. Swear to God. Listen to me and listen to me good. If you kill me now. It's only going to create a cycle of violence that you are never, ever going to end. Until you come to your senses and think, hey, maybe we should just stop killing people. So, what do you say? We just call it even? You killed a man. 
and you want us to be okay with the fact that we just cost you a sale. It was a very important sale. Don't you understand? If I sold property to Daniel Bryan, I would be uh, um, a very well-respected real estate agent. And, and that's a big deal. And, and I might end up on Total Divas. Why would you want to be on Total Divas? Shut up! And take the deal already before I kill you! Um, no. You know you cannot beat me in a battle, Leonardo. Uh, yeah, but there's four of us, and I already kicked their asses! Um, yeah, but Donatello, like, hit you in the balls a bunch of times? And, uh, Leonardo, you have one choice. You can take this deal, or I am going to ignite this thermite bomb! Uh, you're not holding it. Shut up! It's in the comic! I have a thermite bomb, and if you do not take this deal, I'm gonna blow us all to kingdom come! Uh, no. <laughs> Ow, my balls! Ah, oh, you stabbed me in my balls! I can't believe you stabbed me in my balls! That's just wrong, Leonardo! Ah! Ah! And that, kids, is why you don't negotiate with terrorists. Ah! Oh, God! You cut my balls, Leonardo! I should destroy you all for all this! Dude, will you just jump off a fucking cliff already? No! I will not jump off a cliff! You busted my balls with your stupid sword! Oh, God! Oh, my balls! <sighs> hey, uh, you know, Leonardo, uh, I'm pretty sure that castrating the guy is kind of like killing him. And it kind of doesn't make us as big a dicks as we could be. Yeah, but if we don't kill him, he's just going to come back. Well, yeah, but that means we get a second issue. I don't think Master Splinter is going to be happy about that. Well, fuck Master Splinter. Okay, well, you know what? You tell him, okay? You tell him that we failed in our mission to kill the Shredder. Well, I think he's going to bleed out anyway. I mean, you did stab him in the balls, dude. I mean, it's kind of lethal. Not necessarily. I mean, you can live through a stabbing. In the balls? Can you live in the stabbing with the balls? Because I don't think you can live through a stabbing in the balls. Lena, oh, damn it, Raphael. I'm just, I'm done, okay? You want to kill him? You go ahead and kill him, okay? And then you can have that whole perpetual cycle of violence follow you, okay? All right? You want to do that? You want to have a cycle of perpetual violence, Raphael? Um, dude... Shut the fuck up. Seriously? This doesn't even- Oh, God. Uh. uh, yay! Ninja Turtles win. I'm not dead yet, you motherfucking piece of shit! You stabbed me in the balls! Okay, now he's dead. Alright, um... Yay, uh, Kawabunga? Dude, that's like my line, okay? Dude, you didn't even like give the killing blow, but it's my line. All right, fine. Cowabunga! <sighs> Let's just go home, Michelangelo. But, but why? There's, there's like a camera here, dude. I could like do my own podcast now. Like, dude, like the most awesome pizza ever, man. <sighs> Really, like, we could, like, talk about pizza and video games and, and, and my, my, Michelangelo, we, we just really need to go home. But, like, Shredder's dead, okay? Leonardo just, like, slashed him in half. He's dead. Well, well wait, he's, like, the bad guy, so he's just gonna come back. <sighs> Michelangelo, we are an independent comic written by two dumbasses out of New Jersey. There's no chance in hell we're getting a second issue. Oh, bogus. Well, um, can I at least keep doing the podcast thing? No, no. Come on. Let's go home, Michelangelo. Oh, ah, ha, heroes in a half shell! Cowabunga! Pizza! Um, Michelangelo, let's go! <sighs> Master Splinter, we have returned. Really? You have? That's good. Did you do what I asked you to do? You mean, like, kill the Shredder? Yes! Did you kill the Shredder? Um, pretty sure I killed the Shredder. I mean, I stabbed him in the balls, and then I, like, cut him in half. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's dead. 
Did you make sure he was dead? Well, I mean, he was like bleeding and saying, ouch, my balls. And he was saying, ouch, my balls. Yeah, like, ouch, my balls. You know, like from that movie. <sighs> He's probably not dead. No, well, he might be. I mean, it's not like we're going to get a second issue. Leonardo, you were asked to do one thing. One thing. Kill the Shredder. Did you do it? Um, hey, Raph. Don't even get me involved in this bullshit, man. Um, yeah. Uh, Shredder's, like, totally dead, dude. All right, then. Now go and do turtle stuff. Yes, Master Splinter. <sighs> you better be right about the Shredder being dead. Because if he comes back, I am so going to be not happy. I'm not 